Ariza back in the back, Andrew Bynum slams her home. Great pass by Trevor, the only pass that he could make. Start of the final 12 minutes of regulation, Vince Carter not there. Lamar Odom is though on his way. It'll count. Lamar Odom, the distance yeah, after the takeaway. You see how he just, at the very last moment, changed direction a little bit. Went a little to his right. Still shot it with his left hand, but went to his right. Nice steal by Lamar, and then all the way down. Hayes was there, but because Lamar changed direction a bit, turned a charge into a block. Lamar again short, though, as he's missed two of his last three free throw attempts. Well, Lamar in double figures like Jordan Farmar. And the bench scoring is 30 to 14 now for the Lakers. Well, the point spread is uh, in the Lakers' favor, but more importantly, the shooting per the shooting percentage now. The ball goes out of bounds. They say Sasha touched it last. <laughs> you can't believe it. <laughs> Tried to track it down Sasha against Brooke Lopez. Said, Sasha just told him, I'm not paid to rebound. I'm a shooter. Bobby Simmons finding some space inside. Trevor tried to sell it. And nobody was buying. Man, dueling all the way to the hole. Couldn't finish. And he got it, though. Now, Farmar, the pull-up game for Jordan is going to be short. Lamar deflects it. That means Arisa has got it. And blocked away. Lamar took it away, though. Jump ball with Ryan Anderson. <laughs> Lamar is active, yeah, active. Real active. The energy is there at the outset. Frustrated after the missed free throw. Well, got to forget about that. Continue with the activity. Trevor misses the shot. And all of a sudden, Lamar is just right there to force the jump ball. So see what the Lakers can do about controlling this tip. They should tip to between Jordan and Sasha. But Sasha has to box out. Devin Harris or else Devin will shoot the gap. And it's Farmar. Fresh hot clock for the Lakers. So plenty of time. Go inside to Andrew Bynum. They've got their biggest lead of the game at 16. And Farmar. Not a bad look. Good play by Sasha. Poked it, kept it alive. Now the receiving end. Yes! That should be a technical foul. You know what I'm saying? The ball went in the corner to Sasha, and one of the net players stood up off the bench and said something while he's in the act of shooting. I don't think that's very uh, a sportsman like. The man is Sasha a says, It doesn't matter whether you're yelling at me, throwing towels at me, whatever the case may be, I'm knocking it down. 10.43 to go. The Lakers have opened up their largest lead, 95-76. to In the play that I was talking about, unsportsmanlike conduct, Sasha has it. Stop it. Jarvis Hayes right there. He stands up off the bench, says something, roll it. Sasha knocks it down. That shouldn't be allowed there. You shouldn't have you shouldn't be allowed to step up off, uh, get up off the bench and get close to the shooter and uh, just try to distract him in any way. But Sasha with his back to him really didn't see it anyhow. So Sasha, real good night. Eight points with doing the little things. And eight points on only three shots. Harris spinning and drawing the contact. So Andrew Bynum converging with Lamar Odom. Now they'll call the foul on Lamar. That would have been a difficult shot, even if he hadn't have been fouled. So those are the kind of plays where sometimes you just don't like to see your team or your players bailing out a shooter like that. So a couple of free throws coming up for Devin Harris. The Lakers. First team foul. It's on Bynum, not Odom. They changed it. And they actually said it was on Odom first, but that's going to be the fifth on Andrew. By the way, the Mavericks are on Friday night, and that'll be on Fox Sports West. But Sunday night, I go home, pick up the food on the way. I want to, I can't wait for game four, Robert Orr. Okay? And I got to tell you, I was really disappointed. Why? The game was on, but I, I wanted to hear you and Chick. And it was on, NB they took the NBC feed. That was disappointing. That's disappointing. That was. I wanted to hear you and Chick, and, and no knock against Marv. Marv was very entertaining with Bill Walton and Snapper Jones, but well, there's a foul on Ryan Anderson. Nothing like hearing you and Chick on that call. So, Ryan and Anderson. it was, and, and there was a, it was not a simulcast because it was on NBC. So you guys were excluded from doing the telecast, but you were on radio. 
So I was hoping they would have just synced it up with the radio mm -hmm. broadcast on. Back in the simulcast days? Yeah, good days. <laughs> now Andrew Bynum, inside outside game. Ten the shot clock for Paul. Lamar got away with one. Damn. That wasn't a pass to himself, was it? It's out of bounds with four left on the shot clock. As Devin Harris hasn't quit on the situation. Well, you did see he finally bought the yeah. fall? You see him? Look, look at him. him. Look at I'm him. not going anywhere. Said, I'm with the nope, Laker girls. I'm not leaving this one. <laughs> the young fella knows where to find a spot to sit down or fall down. He throws <laughs> it off the shoulder of Sasha and then right now look, into the Laker look girls. It. He realizes where he Oh, we didn't go all the line. When he, once he realized he re, when he was there, I'm not going anywhere. Hopefully, none of the Lakers girls got injured on that play. Farmer, top challenge. He gets it over the bigger man, Bobby Simmons. That kind of night for Jordan. 13 for Farmer on a real good 5 of 8 from the field. So the Lakers, biggest lead now at 20, 98 78. Devin Harris. You see him look back. Then yeah. you have to catch sight of the rim again. Rest assured, somebody's coming. Just go ahead and. Focus on the rim. Can't take it away. Sneak attack. Sasha. He didn't know whether he wanted to go behind the back or not, and then he just lost it because he wanted to get it to Farmar. Well, all he had to do was throw it to Farmar then. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to make it every play a spectacular play. Turnover is only the second of the second half for the Lakers, uh, and that's a big plus after 18 and 30 points off mistakes last game. Matchup with two guys that can see a lot of each other. Lopez and Andrew Bynum and Andrew made him arc that a little bit too much. Now the opposite end. Bynum with Lopez defending. Good footwork. He's fouled. And they'll count it. That is an extended one. He well, never put it back exactly. down. Exactly. I mean, that was the ball was picked up, the foul was called, and he just continued with his move. That is the continuation. The cap over there on the sideline, I know he's got to be happy at this move. And that's just a nice job by Andrew Bynum. See if he can get a three-point play out of this. He wanted to get Trevor a rebound. And he did. <laughs> you know, I really liked on that play when we saw the replay. He didn't put the arm out or the, the wing out, where a lot of times guys hook guys with their elbow. He didn't. It was a natural move by Andrew. Lamar, the three. Got it! Lakers by 25. And what a turnaround since about the six-minute mark of the third when it was tied at 66. Well, you knew the Lakers had to pick it up because they just hadn't really got into any kind of rhythm on either end. But now they seem to have found a real good rhythm. Harris denied inside. Bobby Simmons had not been his night. Neither is Devin Harris on that uh, end of the floor either. Five of 16 for Harris. And they need him a lot more than Simmons. A little pivot action. Trevor Ariza anchoring that foot. Timeout, New Jersey. It's working right now, isn't it, Trev? Working is the word. I mean, <laughs> Trevor stopped on a dime. Did a little pivot. And knocked it down. But how about the athleticism of Lamar Odom stepping out, knocking down the three, and Trevor says, okay. Watch this one. The De degree of difficulty higher. Fox Sports West presents Lakers basketball. Brought to you by Nissan. See your Southern California Nissan dealer today for great deals. And by Quantum of Solace. Now playing in theaters. Welcome back once again to Southern California. Joel Myers along with Stu Lanson. Now looking back. A moment Laker fans will never forget our Land Rover legendary performance, the matchup in the 2002 finals with the New Jersey Nets. And a clean sweep of Kenyon, Martin, and crew. Nice shot. Very nice shot. Vince Carter comes back into the game. Despite the deep deficit with E, and it'll be a loose ball foul inside position. Bobby Simmons and Looks like it should be a couple of free throws because he had oh, both yeah. hands on the ball going up. Oh, it'll be two free throws. Also coming in during that break was Luke Walton and Chris Mim for the Lakers. Back 805 still to play, so yeah. there's a lot of time left. Back to Sunday night as long as we're looking at the 2002 finals. And I was talking about the semis, and that was the conference semis against last Sunday night. Uh, classic performance on Fox Sports West. The one thing that stood out 
Nobody wanted to leave the building. They did a long post game, and nobody left the building. And when Robert Horry was interviewed after the game, I mean, it took a while. Nobody was still moving from their spot. <laughs> it was great. They had some great shots. Two Eight. free throws by Bobby Simmons. 25-point game. I like what Tiki Manderway said in the conversation of the first one. If you joined us later, he wanted to find out where his team measured up because he puts the Lakers in that high regard. Now, shot clock coming down. Luke on the crossover. Tough catch. Chris Mim blocked away by E. Well, he's showing his athleticism. Gavin Harris sells it well. Running in with Trevor Ariza. A couple of more free throws. Yes. So let's see how they close it. Well, That'll be the fourth foul on Ariza. E with the nice defense on the shot by Chris Mim. Goes up and hits the ball and comes off, hits the hand, little bit of the hand, but they say hand part of the ball as long as the ball's in it, I guess. It won't stay down with Devin Harris. That kind of night for him. Well, it's official. Coutinho Mobley. He was not in there tonight. Tim Thomas was, though. For the New York Knicks, they got taken apart by the Cavaliers early in that game. They were down huge in the second quarter. Uh, LeBron James, he had one block where he had to duck under the glass. What an athlete. 6'8, 280 pounds. Does he have anybody back? I'll tell you something. I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody that size be able to do what LeBron can do. Yeah, he is really gifted. Sasha. A little bit long, but Chris Mim is there, held down. With 719 to play. Yeah, LeBron, the more you watch him, the more you are amazed. <laughs> that you know, size. One of the drills that I used to like to work with guys with called contact concentration, where you know you get contact, but you got to concentrate on the target. I mean, LeBron does it better than anybody ever. I mean, this guy, <laughs> he absorbs contact, and it's as if you never really even got to him. The way he finds his teammates. What a passer. And that's his first stop. His first stop, despite the fact that he can score 30 a night, he's the passer first. Yeah, it's just fun watching LeBron James now. Sasha. Well, he missed one, but he makes up for it, doesn't he? Inside the arc that time. Double figures again for three off the bench. Farmar, Odom, and now Sasha Vujicic. <laughs> Devin Harris. See how he jumps into the yeah. body? This is very smart. Very smart. The defenders don't agree with it, but it's just a good play. You take the shot blocker completely out of out of it when you don't give him any kind of an angle to elevate. He's a former Big Ten Player of the Year, his fifth overall selection back in 2004, and he was taking a lot of people forget by Washington, but in the Jamison deal, Stackhouse joined him because they had to make the contract work. Antoine Jamison left the Mavericks, went to Washington. And Devin Harris the other way. Well, Devin Harris was the key component in the Jason Kidd deal. But what a deal for New Jersey because Devin Harris can play. Carter sits down for the remainder of the evening with the Lakers up by 24. It's the first of a four-game road trip for Vince Carter in the next. They still have Salt Lake City, Sacramento, and you uh, actually, yeah, and Utah. Luke Walton on the good pass. Chris Bim. 26 points. Lopez. It away by Sasha, but a foul on Sasha. <laughs> it will be. Chris Mim just picked up uh, an assist. He gets the pass from Trevor and then assist to Luke Walton, who rides it up, rides it in. The quickest way to get a team out of any kind of a press is to attack them like that. They'll back off. So the only thing remaining tonight in doubt is. Two on the way home. <laughs> you don't get them, do you? Never. Well, but Michelle, I still like them. Ticket. I still like them. <laughs> don't you have to have a ticket stub? I like a lot of things on their menu, unfortunately. <laughs> and I know you get a lot of things on their menu, too. <laughs> Tacos. 109.83. A lot of game left. Six and a half to hold them under 17. In garbage time. So out there for the Lakers, Jordan Farmer and Sasha Vujicic in the backcourt. Trevor Reese with the small forward spot. Luke Walton and Chris Mim. Good pass. Chris Mim on the easy finish. Luke set him up. Luke Walton can still make teammates look good. Well, because his first thought, his second thought, and his third thought is passing the basketball. And how about 24 assists tonight for the Lakers on their 42 makes? 
And the Lakers came into the game. Sixth in the NBA in assists. That'll help those tacos. E on the miss. Inside nice of little, six to play. That was a nice little give and go there. Mim trying to bat it around with a loose ball foul. Lopez the other way. This is going to be a long 553. Get comfortable. <laughs> They're shooting the rest of the way, both teams. Got to change the rules. <laughs> no free throws allowed in the last five minutes. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, we talked about it very early in this game, and Sasha said he was rushing and he was trying to do too much too soon. He missed the preseason. He was rehabbing. Tonight, it's kind of a pick-me-up game for Sasha Vujicic. He's from the field, three of five, hasn't tried to do too much. He's got ten points. So in I mean, double figures. I don't figures. know why he has to rush to begin with, because the team is so deep. It's not like they you have to do something in order for your team to be successful. If you're If you don't do it, Nothing will get done. You know, I mean, he, just take your time, get back into the flow of things, which he's doing. Right. And and Phil Jackson assured him because he was putting too much pressure on himself. And uh, Phil Jackson reminded him. So the head coach had a conversation with him. And now bench scoring for the Lakers is 47 to 14. But it's the, one of the Lakers' strong points is their, their depth. Luke Walton make it 49 to 14. So Luke Walton off the bench with four points. Well, I said his first and second and third thoughts were to pass. That time there was nobody open, and so nobody was playing him. So today I show you I can shoot it also. Trent Hassel came over in that deal with Dallas. He's on the floor for the first time that I out top Hassel, and that is not his game, but a pretty good looking stroke. He was in the league uh, four years with Minnesota. Don't forget for defensive purposes. Out of Austin P. Now just get out of here. Intact. Luke Walton beyond the arc. And the long rebound across to Hassel. Lakers still shooting 54%. And you wanted percentage? How about 36% for New Jersey? That's what I wanted to see. I don't care what the total points are. It's the field goal percentage defense that's impressive. The double on Lopez. They thought he walked. Laker bench. 17 for Lopez. He had 25 in his debut, and that's his high as it stands this early in his career. Entry, not a good one. Issues. And Palmer, first thing, looked up at it. Pass to Ace. Couple of free throws for Jordan Palmer. See what happened with speed, though? He looked up when he picked up the loose ball. He knew there were eight seconds because he has such quickness. He was able to just attack off the dribble and get to the charity strike. And he can look at a guy, and I brought up Devin Harris, a good comparison in his fifth year, Jordan, in his third. Devin Harris, too, has not had a good night shooting, 5 of 16, but he's got 21 points because he's gotten to the strike. Easiest, he's created contact with his speed. Easiest way to score is to, to get to the charity strike because you get a freebie. Farmar, though, tonight, frustrated. He's 1 of 4 at the strike. He should have more points. 13 for Jordan. Yeah, he'll beat himself up because of the missed free throws, too. Jordan's a gym rat. He feels like, uh, you know, when he gets there, he should be able to convert. He gets the second. So the Lakers, the highest scoring team in the NBA right now. At 106 a game. 118 last game. That's a season high. 114 so far tonight with a lot of time left. Billy Anderson. Too close to the rim for Ryan. Too much congestion for Ryan. <laughs> Sasha and Chris Mim with a loose ball foul on Anderson. Couple of free throws to Sasha. Frustrated, but uh, not a bad one. It almost went down for him again. So 12 and one, second best start in Laker history. 16 and one, their very best. And let me remind you, and it's very early, but uh, the 72 and 10 Chicago Bulls of the 1995-96 season. They started out 10 and 2. Lakers still, uh, they've talked about it to a man, and, and Kobe, their leader, has said it. You got to get better with each win at the defensive end of the floor. It's not just winning, it's getting better with each win. Well, it's better with each game. I mean, win or lose, you've got to try to get better the next time out. Yeah, you're, they're really early in the uh, process of looking for total number of wins. They should just. Go by the old, uh, you know, sports attitude, one at a time. Right, and that's what the staff has done so well. Luke Walton on the takeaway, Farmar, and it's blocked away by E. <laughs> e showed Jordan something, didn't he? Dueling for three. 
Hassel with a long rebound and scored it away for me. But he showed his athleticism. Boy, a lot of big guys wouldn't have recovered on that one. He got good foot speed and he can get to it. Anderson goes to the line on oh, the nice pass by Trenton Hassel. Well, the crowd sticking around with three minutes and 24 to go. They know there's still <laughs> 10 <laughs> points up on the board or before they have to. Or well, we're not 10, <laughs> nine, because <laughs> you got got to hold them under 100. So Ryan Anderson, a 20 year old from Sacramento. Two seasons of Cal led the Pac-10 in scoring last year with a 21 point average. Misses the first of two. Lawrence Frank uh, getting everybody. Yep. Former into Michigan the game. State Spartan Maurice Zager, a draft choice of Dallas, who came over in the kid deal in his third season, checking in for the first time. Well, if you can't get into a game uh, with a 25 point margin, then <laughs> you're really you're in never, the dark. You're never going to get in the game. Three plus to play. Josh Powell. Good look. Well, he turnaround. rushed that because of the jumping ability and athleticism of Eve. The Lakers still shooting 52%. Tight quarters and a block by Josh Powell. Off hassle, out of bounds. And now they say the Lakers touched it last. That'll take us to a timeout, fortunately. Timeout. That must mean that we have to sell something. 259 still to go in the game, and I think it's OV. ER. 259 left. The Lakers 115. The Nets 91. And this game was quite a game. For Mr. Powell Casal. Talk about leaders of the game. Whew. Game high 26 in 31 minutes, 9 out of 12 from the field, and he did it in so many ways. I mean, he really showed the Nets a thing or two or three. Offensive rebound, put it back. Catch it in the post. Show E a little bit of your left hand. Up and under. Sweet. That is really nice. Face up. Oh, don't, don't dunk on him. Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. That's nice. And he's just a nice, nice player. Yeah, I'd give high fives to you, too, if I was sitting close enough. 26 points in 31 minutes. Ager denied inside. Picked up by Josh Powell. Run the clock. The crowd wants you to use up some of the clock. They're screaming about tacos. The last game, Laker bench 15 of 27. Tonight, they're 19 of 35. What a luxury. So you have a bench that shoots that kind of percentage. It's a three-second violation. And yeah, Luke caught the ball. He was in the lane, caught the ball. His foot was still in the lane. He let everybody go by. And I'm thinking to myself, does that not count when you're in the lane? And the official said, yes, it does. Good call by the official. And by the way, when I mentioned this to 26 points in 31 minutes, is far more. He's headed the other way to the free throw line on the loose ball foul. Pau Gasol has played more minutes than any other starter. It's a season low for Kobe tonight of only 28 minutes, 27 for Andrew Bynum. Derek Fisher with 23 like Rodmanovich. So a healthy situation where everybody's involved and you have that kind of depth that that's you can rely on your bench. On any given night, that's the thing that uh, helps this Laker team. You know, they don't have to have Kobe be the leading scorer every night. He can, he can enjoy a night where he suffers from the field five out of 17. Josh Powell. <laughs> I'll take it. And now yeah, they really want it. I will. And run some clock they wanted from the crowd. Farmer got him on a position. Still a lot of time on the shot clock. Blue Walton had to arc it. And Anderson will get the rebound with 218 to play. Lakers 116 to 91. And it wasn't in doubt since the start of the fourth. Lakers took over and ended the game in the final six minutes of the third. That's how good it was. Off his knee. Off Chris Mim, they say. He'll stay in the Nets end with 11 left on the shot clock. So Dallas on Friday, Toronto on Sunday. A couple of interesting tests for the Lakers. Hey, a little bit long. So the final two minutes. You know what the crowd's thinking right now. Pull yeah, it out. Slow it, it down. <laughs> Josh Powell. <laughs> Where our mindset's the same. Out of bounds. Did Chris Mim deflect it? Yes. With a minute 47 left. Yeah, Chris touched it, I thought. So the Lakers 12 and 1. Phoenix second of the division at 9 and 5. Now 10 and 5 after their win by a point tonight at Oklahoma City. 
And look at all those starters with ice on their knees. That's pretty sad, isn't it? Well, I mean, that's just, most of that is pre preventive. Right. Well, I know, but I mean, that means you yeah, didn't even need them. You're not coming back? You got it. <laughs> you did need them. And Jordan Farmer has another steal for the Lakers. Up against Dagger. And he rolls it home in the reverse. I just don't, I can't emphasize enough how difficult it is to compete against speed. I mean, he's in a crowd. Their defender's there, but because he did it at such a pace, they didn't have a chance to get an angle or a position defensively to make a real fine play. And he spins it up, spins it in, and three-point play for Jordan Farmar. So Jordan, a season high, 18 points with the free throw. And it could be even a little bit better for him because of the missed free throws tonight. He's four of eight at the strike. Sean Williams barely played tonight because of foul trouble. Trent Hassel, not close. Are they safe? 65 yeah. seconds left. They're safe now. <laughs> They're not going to give up nine points and in a the hold. final minute. And Josh Powell going to the free throw line. Dallas, who is coming in on Friday, six and seven to start play tonight, and they had the night off. Well, I, I think that's going to be an interesting game because the last time the Lakers played them down in Dallas, I, I thought the Lakers played well uh, when they needed to. I thought Pau Gasol did a, a very good job defensively on Dirk, but Dirk is a great player. He's going to come back. Right. I think Dirk is going to have himself a big game. Whether they win or not is another story, but I think Dirk will, will bounce back. That's what the great players do. And they've had a better run on the road this year. They're only one and four at home. They're five and three on the road for Rick Carlisle in his first season with Dallas and Toronto. Another team hovering right around 500 as Toronto is at six and seven. They're on Sunday night right around Fox Sports West at Staples Center before the Lakers head out on Monday for a three game road trip. It's been a while since they've been on the road. And Phoenix to me is not a road trip. And it's been a while since the uh, Nets are there finally. I was going to say it's been a while scored. since they scored. A oh. basket, not a free throw. I mean, talking about a basket. Well, they don't have 40 points in the second half. So the Laker defense made a difference in the second 24 minutes of play. It'll be Sasha beyond the arc, lining things up. Chris Mim couldn't hang on. It's going the other way with 23.7. The chant comes up. Lakers over. And I brought up defense have held him to 35% shooting. That's what the name of the game. They got torched in their last game from the field, 50 plus percent, 53 percent by Sacramento. Just because, and they they won the game, but that's not what you want to get in the habit of doing. Anderson still can't find it outside. Walton will save it, get it across the line, and they are secure. Tacos for the house. <laughs> so the Lakers win it by 27 with a season high 120 points, and the starters didn't see the floor in the fourth and that's the beauty of the depth of this Laker team and if you don't want